Hi, Candice. Fine, thanks. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. So we have a new section that we launched after the back to school period and it is called Back to Me. And the idea is that when you drop your kids off at school, you know, a lot of parents leave the schoolyard a little sad, a little nostalgic for the summer, but also with that little kind of happy dance on the inside that, you know, the kids are gone and maybe they'll carve out a little time for themselves. So the back to me section on mum.me is about some ideas for how to enjoy what time you can pull out of your day for yourself. Well, really, you know, a lot of people talk about creating this extra hour in your day. Well, that's just not really going to happen. Most mums are so busy, they realize they're up early, they're up late, they're using all the hours in the day, right? So instead, we've talked about some tips for making the most of the time that you do have and you may not even notice. So, for example, you know, when you're putting your kids to bed at night, a lot of parents have this ritual they go through with the reading, the long bath and the getting the kids relaxed. Well, maybe once or twice a week, your kid doesn't need a 20 minute bubble bath. I mean, do you get a 20 minute bubble bath every night? I don't. So, you know, maybe it's time to skip the bubble bath, skip the reading of Harry Potter and take that 20 minutes back for yourself. Maybe not every night, give it to the kids most nights, but give it to yourself one night. Take that time for yourself. Another idea is, you know, take those stolen moments. If you're in traffic, instead of getting stressed out about being in traffic, you know, switch on a great radio station you love, look out the window, maybe the sun is setting. Really take that moment to not think about all the things you have to do, but just be in that moment and look at, you know, look at what's around you and, and see that being tra stuck in traffic is not necessarily a bad thing because no one's nagging at you about how hungry they are, right? Yeah, I think, you know, with the best intentions, most of us try and plan our meals. It does actually save time if you are someone who is able to be organized enough to, to get your meals worked out. Something we have on the website actually is really helpful on mum.me. We have this new app called Listless. It lives on the website at mum.me, but it also is in the app store and it allows moms to make a list and share it. And it's really fun because you can make a really practical list like what you're gonna buy at the grocery store for your week of dinners, or you can make a really whimsical fun list like, you know, what songs I like to listen to when my kids are driving me crazy. Um, so, and then you can share that with other mums. So it becomes this kind of community conversation where you can get inspiration from other mums and, and give inspiration to other mums, but it's also a really good practical planning tool as well. Well, only that I think moms should not necessarily judge themselves so much and, and not try and be perfect and just take the time that you can find in your day to take a breath and, you know, know that you're not in it alone. If you go to mum.me, you'll find there's a lot of moms there just like you. Wonderful. Thanks very much, Emily. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, Candice.